I don't have a handout and I don't have a slideshow for you guys keeping you on your toes. Um, I told you last, I know, I told you last week I was going to be talking about five strategies for you to taking into the new year. About two months ago, I sat down to get ready for a presentation and I started putting together a handout of all the changes that have been made on the different platforms this year. There's been a lot. We'll just start with like one really obvious one. Twitter is no longer Twitter. It is now called X. There's so many changes that have happened. There's so many social media platforms. In fact, when you go and schedule a discovery call with me, and one of my questions is, what platforms would you like to be on? And I have 12 listed. Some of them we don't offer, but I need to know if that person is really interested and really interested in it. Some of them is like Discord and Twitch. I don't offer that, but if they are like, oh, that's what I want to be on, then I need to know that so that I can make sure they get them the right resources. We do made the major six platforms. Um, but so today what I wanted to do is give you five strategies for going into the new year. I know most of you do not use us, and I don't know if you do your own social media or if right now you just don't do any social media, but I came across a really wonderful uh, podcast this morning um, from Gary V. I actually listened to it on my way in, and I shared it in the BNI group this morning. I'm going to really encourage you to listen to it. If you have felt any kind of a pain point this year in your business, if marketing is not working for you, if you've given up on social media or you just haven't even gotten on the bandwagon, this is going to help you with understanding why social media is what you need to do. And one of the analogies that he shared that I thought was so great was, what if you could go buy waterfront property in Malibu, California today for free? Would you go do it? And then in 20 years from later, it's like worth millions and millions of dollars. Of course you would. Social media right now, it's free. It's a free way for you to be able to market your business. So it's a free place for you to be able to corner that market. So I don't want to run out of time. I'm going to go into the five strategies for you. I could sit here and spend my whole eight minutes trying to talk you into working with me or trying to teach you why social media is important for your business. But I'm not going to do that. If you don't see that, then please go watch that podcast. And here's the five strategies for you. So number one is going to be setting your clear goals for the new year for your social media strategy. What this means is talking, thinking about your brand awareness. What do you really want people to know about your brand? Um, making sure that you're posting a consistent brand, like consistent colors, consistent fonts, that your logo is on your content so that you're building that visibility for your business where it becomes that reticular activator. They see you everywhere. They see you on all the major platforms and then you walk in with your shirt. I have my bag, I have my sweatshirt, everything is branded to my business so that you get that reticular activator going. Um, social media it is good for you to generate leads and drive sales and for you to be able to focus on building relationships. But I do see a lot that if you do not ask somebody to follow you, ask them for the sale, they just don't do it. So I really encourage you to be taking that extra step of making those messages in the DM, sending personalized messages, and really building relationships with your audience. Don't just push it out there and hope that something sticks. Number two, this is very vital. Research your audience, research the platforms, and hashtags. When we say research, that means looking into trending hashtags in your niche and seeing what people are posting that's getting traction and what's getting visibility for them and mimicking that type of content or um, with when, within researching your audience, where are they spending time? Are they on TikTok or are they on LinkedIn? We could go further into that, but that's what my book is for. Next, um, select appropriate social media platforms for your audience and conduct the research to the content. Number three, create compelling content. From that podcast this morning, he said if you get nothing else, you have to create content that's cornering attention. There's so much content on all of these platforms. What are you doing to break through the noise? Rob, he's not here today, he makes really great content for himself, but even for him, I would encourage him, if he were here, to talk about like, is it, he always asks me, how do I convert, how do I convert? Well, is it breaking through the attention? He does a lot of face-to-camera face -to -face -to content, and if people don't wanna just see Rob talking to the camera, then they're gonna keep scrolling. A lot of us don't wanna just see people talking to the camera, they wanna see behind the scenes, they wanna see, B-roll, they want to see you out in the world. So what are you doing to break through the noise? Um, create lead opportunities by marketing a referral program on social media to incentivize customers to refer friends and family. 
offer rewards or incentives for successful referrals, such as discounts or exclusive offers, and encourage customers to share positive experiences on social media to drive referrals. Also, I really see this often, is your social media is a way for you to be able to grow your email list. So how are you growing your email list through social media? You should have ways for them to get on your list. You should be asking people, people for emails and turning that into further marketing. Also, if you live stream, which I highly recommend you do, this will allow for you to be able to start to really build that relationship. I have a free download on my website for eight ways how to overcome going live. I know it can be a little scary, so I put together a little free download for you guys. You can just go grab it. Number four strategy for you is utilize paid ads. Paid ads do work. I do not offer paid ads. I believe Kelly and her team do, but utilizing paid ads will only amplify your social media. You should do both. What we do is organic social media. We help tell your story. We help build your brand. We help get you that awareness. We help you be consistent. I know social media is a full-time job. That's why I have a whole company that offers it. And when you hire us, you get six people, not one. Not one social media person trying to do it all. You get six people working on your social. And the fifth strategy for you is to track your metrics. When you track your metrics, you can see what's working, what's converting. You'll see what people are seeing the attention to. You'll see what people are looking at. Um, tracking your metrics is things like your reach, your engagement, and your conversions. I had to go really fast for you today, so I'm sorry if this went all over your head, but once again, I do have a book that's 20 pages long. It goes into all of these details and more. There's 12 strategies in there. It talks about all the changes on the platforms this year and how to use them to your benefit for your business. I appreciate those of you that have not only supported my business this year, but also purchased the book. And if there's anything I can do to help you with your social media, I love to just sit down and pour into you. Elena Reinhardt, thank you.